I'm Joshua Bardwell. You're going to learn something today. Uh, this is the Rapid Fire versus Clearview versus LaForge V4 versus True D 3.7 testing. Yes, we're here. Here they are here on the table. And you can see I got a few other things that I could be testing. Like, ooh, look in the background there. There is the Mway Commander V2, but I'm only testing four at a time because I only have so many antennas that I can test. Um, I'll be doing the rest of the Commander, Achilles Pro, uh, True D Doc King. Thank you, Furious FPV. All that stuff will come, but today, this is what we've got. The antennas that we're using in this test are the Hoot antennas uh, from ReadyMade RC. Uh, I asked ReadyMade RC to send me some of these antennas for this test because, number one, I wanted to make sure I was using absolutely brand new antennas so that they would not be defective in any way. And number two, I've been flying these antennas and I really dig them and I wanted to give them a shout out. They're really durable. The top is just one solid piece, doesn't really break apart. The coax is really durable too. I haven't had any like break off at the base. They're less than 10 bucks a piece. They're available in various, they're very good antennas. And I thank you to Radiomate RC for making them, first of all, and for sending them for this test. And what you see me doing here is testing the antennas on the OWL RC SWR meter. Now, a swarm meter usually costs of thousands of dollars, but OWL RC has made this guy. It's less than a hundred bucks, and it's not as accurate as the ones that are thousands of bucks, but it's good enough that if you've got an antenna that is just blatantly defective, you can find it. And I tested all the antennas that I used in this test before I used them. And sure enough, not the hoot antennas, but one of the other antennas that I had used in previous tests was probably defective. I had no way of knowing it. I just assumed because it was brand new that it was probably good, but sure enough, it wasn't. So that's the kind of effort that I'm putting into trying to make sure these tests are as reliable and, and trustworthy as possible. Let's go to the test results then. What I like to do is play these back at 50% speed. So I think it's a little hard sometimes to see all four screens at once and playing them at 50% speed makes it easier for you to figure out which one is breaking up and which one isn't. Down in the lower right in the little gear icon on the YouTube, you can change the playback speed to either 2x which will make it actually be full speed if you prefer, or you can slow it down even more by putting at 50% or quarter speed. Here we go.
Okay, a couple notes to make here. Number one, this is mostly a test of the sensitivity of the module, not so, because there, we're not in an environment where there's a ton of multipath. The times where there will be the most multipath are when I'm behind the house or behind the barn, and there's obstacles between the quadcopter and the receiver. But when I'm out in the front yard, there's not a lot of multipath. We definitely should rerun this test in a very multipath heavy environment where we would expect to see crossfire and rapid fire pick up an advantage. To my eye though, clear view edged out the entire field. This is the clear view ground station, mind you, not the module. I still haven't got the module yet. Rapid fire was nearly as good and definitely better than LaForge and Trudy. And between LaForge and Trudy, I think you'd have to look really close to pick a winner there. I think they were both very close. Now I'm gonna do some just regular old flying. You'll get another look.